the Nintendo Switch Pro is here and <laughs> Nintendo didn't even make it, so... Steam announced today a new handheld handheld gaming system. The thing is th this big. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you the thing is this big. We're gonna check it out. I don't know much about it. All I've seen is how gigantic it is and how unappealing it is to me. So if you are a fan of this, you might not like this video because ultimately I don't think it's gonna do well. I, it seems like a niche product, but let's just let's check it out, all right? Before I before I start casting stones, okay? Let's check it out and talk about it. We're here on Steam's Twitter uh, today, seven hours ago, introducing Steam Deck. I guess that's what it's called. Steam Deck, powerful, portable PC gaming, starting at three ninety nine. Starting at three ninety nine. So I don't know if there's gonna be a more advanced option or what the case is. Designed by Valve, powered by Steam, shipping December twenty twenty one. So very soon. Was this known about before? Because I had no idea. And then out of nowhere, there was like, this is here. It is the new. Steam handheld. Haven't they tried a Steam box before and it like didn't do well? I, there's a lot of reasons why I just don't think this is gonna go well. People are really super excited about it online, but like everything in the past, people were excited about the Ouya. <laughs> I mean, it does, just because people are excited now does not mean it's gonna do well. Remember Labo? Remember when everybody was, hey, Labo's amazing, and everyone, I was saying that it wasn't gonna do well, and everyone's like, dude, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Watch. What, where's Labo? What happened? I see, I've seen it at Goodwill. That's pretty neat. Anyway, here's the video that goes along with it. It has no sound. My sound on my TV is all the way up. I'm not using headphones and it just didn't have any sound. And I was like, that's a great start. A commercial with no sound. And it's a little pixely, but look how gigantic this thing is. And this thing is hume, literally this big. You know, actually the Switch is pretty big. There, this is not, this is, this is like Atari Lynx big, okay? This is humongous. Here goes my Switch Lite right here. Let me show you this. This is my Switch Lite right here. You're like, that's pretty big. Not really. Look at my hands. They're touching. This is my cell phone. It's literally almost the exact same size as my cell phone. I can put this in my fucking pocket in the carrying case. Watch this. I can put this fully in my pocket Check it out. That's in my fucking pants. I've done this many times. I've walked around with my Switch in my fucking... Because I wear pants like a normal grown-ass man. Not fucking girl jeans. I'm looking right at you with your girl jeans. I couldn't fit that in there. I can barely fit my cell phone in there. Then grow the fuck up and buy some pants. Jesus Christ. It's just, this is portable, okay? I love the Switch Lite, $200, half the price of this. And you go, well, this is gonna play Doom at 60 FPS and, and, and Team Fortress and all this other stuff. Well, gr that's great. There's, th there's a thing called gaming laptops, all right? We didn't need, it's, this is literally as convenient as a gaming laptop, all right? I don't understand what the hype is about this. Like, you could play something that's this fucking big and the buttons are at the top, so you're gonna be holding it really weird. That's cool, look at that. The buttons are at the very top of the con- Like, what is this? I guess there's a little mouse tracking pad, which is kind of neat. I like, it look- it's cool, alright? It, it looks a little wacky, but it is- the concept and the idea are cool. But it's just such a- I feel like not a mainstream thing. Like, Timmy and his mom at Kmart aren't gonna be like, Hey, let's get this Steam portable gigantic thing and carry it around and play God knows what. When they could just go, hey, let's get this, get a Mario Boys, and be on our way. I feel like it's just way, this is just, has way more mass appeal. Like, oh, look, it's got all these household names, and they're just right here, and obviously you can hack this to play those on there. I get that. I know there's going to be people going, I can play Mario on my Steam. <laughs> I can hack it right on there, Sean. Great. Again, this is the mass appeal, not the niche guy in his basement going, beep boop 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 let me put everything over. I know it's not hard. I'm just making fun, okay? I'm just having fun, all right? But it's literally, it's literally a niche thing. It doesn't have millions in sale mass appeal to me i don't think so at least maybe i'll be wrong hopefully i'm wrong maybe if they redesigned it and made it a little more compact but i just don't this is like bare ass portable let's look into it though a little more steamdeck.com i really haven't looked into this at all i just saw that it was a thing the most gaming power you have ever held <laughs> oh, that's sweetheart you don't know what i've held i've held dreamcast guy's dick uh, I like the Valve logo on it. The, the quality of the, the product looks really high. Like, it looks really sturdy. It looks like it's got some weight to it. The buttons and everything, they look really good quality. Like that matte finish with that little, like, that little scuffiness. Looks like it's got some good grips on there. It looks good quality. I'll give it that. All-in-one gaming, portable, PC, blah, blah, blah. Stream the Steam games and features you love to a powerful and convenient... Convenient. I don't do that. Okay, form factor that you can take wherever you go. Uh, that's debatable, but all right. 
got some Star Wars here. Actual gameplay running on prototype hardware, okay. Hardware designed to put real games in your hands. Powerful. Steam Deck runs the latest AAA games and runs them really well. <laughs> Again, that's subjective, but I, these, I feel like they know what they're doing hardware-wise. Hardware wise. For some reason, Nintendo botched that, and I got drift on my light, but it, like, went away. I don't know what the deal is. This is probably going to be a lot better quality hardware than Nintendo is going to have. I, 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 you got to admit that. I mean, come on there. It's probably going to be leaps and bounds above in terms of quality of the hardware, not processing power. Clearly, that's going to be, you don't even have to say that. It's going to be way more processing power than a Switch, uh, of course. Versatile, you can connect to peripherals, throw the picture onto a big screen, and do all the other PC things you'd expect. So I guess it has a dock. I saw something like that that it had like a dock thing for a PC. I don't know if you can dock it to a TV, but if you can, that's really awesome, and that is great. Uh, we can go into more about the hardware. I guess we will. I don't know anything about hardware. It's just going to be like, check out the processing power. Beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boops. Uh, gyro, there you go. Track pads, which I thought were really cool. Those look cool. 7-inch screen, which is what the new Switch OLED is. But I heard this is LCD. People were making a big deal like, that. Yeah, you guys can't even do OLED. Why can't they do OLED? OLED? Come on now. Uh, fast storage, built-in storage, 64 gigs, uh, blah, 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 SSD, or uh, fastest. You can get a 512. Okay, so... You can upgrade when you buy it, I guess. I guess the base model will be 400, and then depending on what your upgrades are, hi-fi audio, 40 watt battery, 78 hours, fastest spin resume. It's, it's, got, it's got a lot of great features. It looks really nice, but I just, again, don't think it has mass appeal. We've had things like this in the past, very similar things to this. Uh, and a million other handhelds, a PS Vita, all kinds of stuff. I know this is not not even comparable to a PS Vita, but like we've had things in the, in the same vein, in the same ballpark as this before, and uh, they just don't they just don't work. Nintendo just knows what they're doing marketing wise with handhelds and with their IPs and everything. They know how to get it into households and go, hey, the family, you guys will love this. Steam is just like, hey, hardcore gamers, buy our thing, dude. And uh, maybe that'll work for them. I don't think it will again. There's a dock too. Woo, look at that. We got a dock. It's got USB type C. Here goes this gigantic mammoth console. Woo, that thing is big, baby. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is there about it, right? Like software, like what we tech specs. Look at me. Let me look at the tech specs. It's got a microphone. Woo, you know me. I love mics. Uh, blah, 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 Zen dip dudes got a bunch of flops. There's flops and T flops and G flops. All the flops. They're flopping. 16 gigabyte RAM. Blah, 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 uh, display. Uh, I guess it's that 720 is what I heard. 800p at 1280, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's like a little bit 16 by 9. It's kind of weird. Slightly better than the 720. Uh, LCD again, 700 brightness, uh, 60 hertz refresh rate. Uh, all nice things. These are all nice things. All right. But at the end of the day, well, is, is that going to matter for this $400 gigantic handheld gaming console? I really don't I really don't think so. I don't think it's going to do well. We'll see. I hope it does well, and then the Switch would have some competition, and Nintendo could step up their game and give us better hardware. <laughs> that would be amazing. And maybe if they can listen to a smaller form factor, I would be interested. But I'm not interested in carrying around something this fucking big, all right? I'm sorry, Steam, Valve, whoever I got to apologize to, I apologize. Um, I, it is interesting. Interesting. I, it, I do find it interesting, but I'm not enough to want to even come close to consider buying one at all. Uh, but that's just me. Obviously, there are a lot of hardcore nerds out there that are super excited. And God bless you. Like I said, there's gaming laptops you can just bring. They're, it's not going to be that much more cumbersome than this. Uh, you're going to need a bag for that regardless. So I don't know what the huge deal is about this. It's stockable. That's kind of cool. They're obvious. They're, there are cool aspects and cool things to it. Just not for me, baby. And I'm sorry if that upsets you. And if you already left a dislike and left, then <laughs> thanks a lot, Timmy. But you know, you're Jimmy. Timmy's buying the Switch. Bit of a long-winded rant today. If you liked it, drop a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out so, so much in the YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it so, so much. There'll be a pinned comment down below with all the other channels I work on. Uh, links in the description if you want to support the channel. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh, So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Uh, oof.